in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed one of the greatest prayers you can pray as a believer is that the eyes of your understanding truly be enlightened. Are we together? The eyes of your understanding is not intelligence. The eyes of your understanding is not intellect. The eyes of your understanding is not philosophical knowledge. The eyes of your understanding is access to the mysteries of the spirit alongside their operation. You can know that these mysteries exist. You see, revelation is not knowing what God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Knowing what God has said is not revelation. When you know how to make it work in your life, he told Job, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth. Amen. It's important that when we come into God's presence, we listen. You will think that when people come into God's presence like this, the fact that you are looking at me, it doesn't mean you are listening. Are we together? People can be distracted. People can be careless. Some can be looking with their eyes open, but they are sleeping. Are we together? All kinds of things happen. It was Jesus himself that told us what happened to seeds. Some fall by the wayside, correct seed, correct sower. Some fall by the wayside, some fall in the midst of thorns, some fall on a rocky ground. Even among the good soils, three kinds of results. 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. May you be a 100-fold tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. A day will come in your life where you would have sufficiently gained access to the mysteries of the kingdom alongside the keys that release their power and let me tell you when that time comes you will be nothing short of a wonder everybody around you will know that the finger of god is upon your life we make impact in this world through mysteries we make impact in this world not through desire it takes more than desire to make true impact for the kingdom i'll share a thought with us and then we'll walk on a scripture and then we'll pray hallelujah i shared with us here for those of us who were not here please listen attentively and by the way, those following us online, we love you, we honor you, you are part of us. That there are three platforms upon which impact is established. Please listen. When God is ready to reveal himself to a man, when God is ready to do business with a man upon the earth, there are only three platforms as revealed from scripture upon which that man will access capacity to make impact platform number one encounters don't forget this they are not cheap they are not basic at all encounters the first platform that grants a man access to work with god is encounter everybody say encounter encounters are very very important because they birth spiritual realities in our spirits. By encounters, I don't just mean visionary encounters. Even encounters through the word. 
an experience that makes God real to you. An experience that makes a dimension of God real to you. It could be aided through a vision. It could be aided through a supernatural experience. But regardless of what platform it comes through, any experience capable of making a dimension of God become real to you is called an encounter. True encounters produce conviction. Not memory, conviction. A true encounter, listen, it doesn't just leave you with a memory. It produces conviction. If you tell me you've had an encounter with a dimension of God, I will know. I don't care whether you claim you had a vision or a scripture opened up to you. When it is opened up to you, the first time that you had an encounter is unusual conviction. It translates to faith. If God gives you an encounter of his healing power, it produces conviction. If God gives you an encounter of a dimension of spiritual reality, it must come with conviction. Say conviction. There are so many people in the body of Christ who are not convicted about the things they teach. It's one thing to teach from a theological standpoint, and that's important. It's one thing to teach from a sociological standpoint. But it's one thing to teach from a depth of conviction. It's not by shouting. It's not the volume of your voice. It's not the, the repetition of your grammar. Conviction is a realm where your speaking, your listeners know that the things you are saying are true with you. Say encounters. We must crave for encounters. You know, people who don't really understand this thing think that all we are advocating is that people begin to have out of body experiences and they begin to propose as though you are telling people to not pay attention to the word of God to now begin to contend for angelic encounters heavenly encounters as above the word of God no the Bible says God appeared um, to Samuel in Shiloh by his word are we together he appeared by his word so an encounter doesn't necessarily mean until you see an angel and he says promise i was sent from heaven to you that from today you take the healing power of god to the nations and then every time you stand you say i remember what the angel said yes that's an encounter but there are men like reinhard bonke who had encounters they never had any visionary experience when you listen to Reinhard Bonke's story, he will tell you that a day came, they brought in a great man of God to preach. The man preached the first day and told all the sick people to come by the second day. And the morning of the second day, Reinhard Bonke was excited because they were going to wheel all kinds of sick people. In Africa, if you tell people to bring the sick, they are obedient. They will bring the sick whether they are related to them or not they will that sense of nationhood will kick in they will drag every sick person and so they brought those people and the preacher told Reinhard Bonke he said the Lord told me to pack up my things and get out of this place you will preach and you will heal Reinhard Bonke said no 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 you can't be playing I mean you are the great man of God I'm only here to encourage you and he said I'm sorry I have to be on my way Reinhard Bonke said he cried and cried because his ministry was about to be shredded into pieces and then all of a sudden that's an encounter the word of the lord comes you don't read it it comes in the fifth day of the fifth month of this the word of the lord came there's the one you try to get but the one that comes is what produces encounter and renard bonke just looked and said lord i will go and do the preaching and you will do the healing and that was it a man who has produced a ministry that has liberated africa encounters you can be reading a scripture you can be reading john 3 16 but one day the word of the lord will come to you for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him when that encounter comes you can sing songs like yes jesus loves me you sang it in Sunday school. It was not an encounter. It was a recitation. But when it comes as an encounter, 
you will sing that song and you are crying and somebody looks at you and says ah, ah, you are deeper than this and he said that's the point it has not come to you but it came to me are we together encounters my life is a testimony of encounters i can point to you exact periods in my life where certain things happen that birthed certain convictions that have been responsible for releasing certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities may god give us encounters the meeting is called koinonia and the first thing you should get is an encounter if you are a prayer leader without an encounter a pastor without an encounter an apostle a prophet whatever you call yourself a time will come your lack of assurance will become evident to those you are leading are we together it's not by bold face bold face is not encounter i know god will show up please encounters produce convictions unto death but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded say god give me encounters say it again god give me encounters you believe God has called you into the ministry of kingdom wealth. But you are not sure. You don't have encounters. So you are hoping you will be rich to prove to people that you were called into the ministry of kingdom financing. You lack encounters. Listen, an encounter makes your conviction as your primary evidence, not physical results. Your conviction becomes your primary evidence. So God can call you to the nations as at the time you are speaking the only other listener is your wife but you still say god called me to the nations i love men of convictions conviction conviction we we live in a result driven a carnal result driven generation where until you produce physical results that can be seen people oftentimes will not believe you so you will need encounters let me tell you so that when things do not happen the way you want you are still left with your encounter job said though he slay me yet will i trust him i know him the god in the mountain is still god in the valley let me tell you why many people gas out many pastors many preachers i've seen a lot of preachers say god sent me to so 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 city when the city became too hot and whipped them they left quietly encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina he said if you turn aside in the day of battle he said your strength is small one guy came and met me one time and he said god has called him into the apostolic ministry i said congratulations a few months later it became too hot for him and he came back he said i get it now i'm an evangelist i said go. i told him i said go for a retreat a retreat that produces an encounter because he thought it's just in a name usually when it becomes too hot people change persecution <laughs> we think the name will give you access for preaching fast so you say i am prophet a and b and c and then the heavy controversy that lands on your head you quietly remove it and say i am pastor joshua selman <laughs> say encounters may god give us encounters Amen. one big secret in my life is that god used encounters to convince me of my call solid encounters both visionary encounters word encounters prophetic encounters that's why no matter what anybody says or does i would never even pray about it that's how certain i am when you try to explain things to people you don't have conviction enough please talk to someone by your side and say get conviction get conviction strong conviction are we together strong conviction 
we doubt and we fall by the wayside and we make a mess of and you know it's a terrible thing to brag so much before people and then you are now forced to defend your advocacy but the encounter that will sponsor your confidence is not there if i believe god has called me to carry the healing anointing and there are 100 wheelchairs and i pray for them and nobody gets healed i tell them may god bless you and uh, have a nice day and i'll go to sleep and someone says but man of god ah it's either you are backsliding or something has happened i will go back and challenge myself to rise greater but i'll not go back saying god if it's that i didn't hear you well can you explain to me again no we're laughing but I'm, I'm trusting that god is speaking to us encounters do you know that the world follows men of conviction if i am a thief today there is a there is a certainty about my stealing that will force you to say look this guy knows what he's doing he's worth hearing terrorists are men of encounter and conviction they have met spirits the spirits told them certain things so while the government is trying to advise them and say why don't you become nice social beings they say all of you are confused and we are out to kill you and bomb you and you say are you sure you'll do this yes what of your life what of your wife and your family and they say to hell with them conviction from an encounter what encounter do you have that sponsors your confidence oh i saw god give a jimmy this it's not enough reason you must have a personal encounter we lack this a lot i'm taking out time to help you understand this we lack this a lot in the body of christ you can borrow joshua selman's revelation listen to one koinonia message and just write everything out and preach in a conference and say god said there is this and that and that but you know there is a way people look through you and they see that even you as you are preaching you are just saying lord i hope i'm right i'm about to pray joshua Selman prayed after that message and now i'm about to pray after my own then you stand and speak and say i see angels everywhere whether or not you are seeing them because you thought i was lying so now you say i see angels overflow are you ready say yes no encounter that's how preachers disgrace themselves convention after convention till everybody in your circle stops bringing you for meetings because you have a track record of copying with no results someone can guide you but the ultimate journey is that you meet christ you meet him not just theologically but you have an encounter say amen, amen. it's good to know the god of joshua selman but stay until that God becomes your God. The people told the woman, the, the Samaritan woman, he said, we believe you now, not just because you told us. We have seen him for ourselves. You came and introduced us, but ah, talking with him, he did something to us. In the name of Jesus, may God give us encounters over your business, over your life over your family so that when you go and you look at your cgpa and you look at it from 4.5 god forbid but you drop to 3.5 and you see three carryovers you don't suddenly say ah and god said i'll be a leader god you must come and you see some prayers are, are revelations of the doubts you've been nursing for many years so what you have feared secretly now comes upon you and you say god but you told me now you told me eh? you told me that this brother will marry me this one that he has done introduction what are you saying don't make noise until you have the burning bush experience we brag too much on hearsay i watch preachers talk sometimes and i'm saying be careful oh jesus is lord but his lordship is exercised with wisdom and understanding if you are not healed in this meeting except i'm not called hey at the end of the meeting only two people are healed 
encounters encounters i crave for them i create the atmosphere for them i desire them in my life encounters it's not about reading the bible genesis to revelation it's not about quoting scripture as important as it is it's not about a display of greek and hebrew words encounters produce convictions convictions produce faith faith moves mountains it's not what you do is the conviction behind what you do number two the second platform upon which men do business with god is a comprehension or access to the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom an encounter is one you meet a person in an encounter but you must comprehend the principles of the kingdom is god helping us tonight your knowledge of the principles the working knowledge of the principles of the word of god is another platform for you to activate a life and a destiny of impact so what principles do you know it says and i will give you the keys right and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven king james says whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven amplified says whatever you allow whatever you disallow the power to release realities and the power to close doors is called the key of david your life there is a dimension of impact in your life hear me brothers and sisters that is a product of the mysteries that you know this is what i define as dominion you've heard me say it again and again dominion is not an impartation dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom we've spent this year as much as many other years dissecting these mysteries under the teaching secrets of the kingdom the series get it secrets of the kingdom right i taught you six mysteries that control mighty dramatic manifestations upon the earth mystery number one i taught you is the law of surrender the law of surrender that this is the mystery that holds the key to unusual amounts of unction upon the lives of people complete surrender complete surrender mystery number two is the power of a transformed mind for as he thinketh in his heart right so he's so he is i told you realities are first formed in the realm of the spirit before they find expression in the physical realm so you never try to change anything by physically trying to alter it you alter it from the realm of the spirit and it changes mystery number three is the law of competence seest thou a man diligent in his business he says he shall not stand before mean men he shall stand before kings are we together we we did this very very mystery number four i explained to you the secret of coming out of situations that are about to swallow you in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path that's what the bible says he said trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding a time must come in a man's life where you face challenges that are bigger than your current level of exposure you don't know anything about that challenge nor how to go out at that time the key is to acknowledge him he says in all thy ways acknowledge him praise is a weapon for acknowledgement so as you begin to acknowledge him there is a promise attached he said he will make straight your path mystery number five is the mystery i call it the irrefutable mystery of destiny helpers men and women anointed commanded instructed to appear in your destiny and take you to the next level 
I'm doing a recap. It, it, please, I, I don't know how to plead with you. Believe what I'm teaching you and understand it and you will change your life. There are three kinds of destiny helpers I shared with us the other time. Number one, they are called divine connectors. They do not have the ability to help you, but they can link you to where your help is. Divine connectors. Number two, men of influence. They have the capacity, both the economic power, both the governmental power, right? The intellectual prowess to endorse you and open up doors for you. An example of such a person is Joseph of Arimathea. A man who, through his influence, Jesus was ordered to come down from the cross and buried in a tomb. You need them. And then number three, faithful men. The third kind of destiny helpers, faithful men. 400 of these men came to David. David was running. He was a failure. He was broke. He was on his way. Ministry had packed up. But 400 men came and they entered a covenant with themselves to be loyal to him until he became king. And then the last mystery, which in my opinion is the most powerful, maybe secondary to only an encounter, is the law of honor. Hebrews 7.7 7. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the greater. I told you that there is a system in the body of Christ. Nobody blesses himself. You cannot lift yourself to a new dimension. Are we together? No matter how anointed you are, no matter how great you are, at every point in your life, there are people below you trusting God for your grace to lift them. There are people above you. There are those who already represent what your future aspirations are. And there are people who you represent their future aspiration. The recognition of that is the key to living where you are to the next level. You ignore the law of honor, you will pay for it dearly. You ignore the law of honor, you will pay for it dearly. There are human beings that represent systems. The recognition of what they represent alongside the possibilities God has opened unto them will bring you into their realm of reality. Honor is the key to access. Every time a door closes over your life, dishonor closed it. And every time a door opens over you, honor opened it. So there are many other mysteries that we have to learn. I can teach you mystery upon mystery upon mystery. One of it is he that wants friends must first show himself friendly. Now, you read these things as verses until God opens your eyes. Then you will see the reason why many people never have the gift of men because they are not friendly. To be friendly does not mean to be a clown. To be friendly means to be hospitable. Are we together? It says that you neglect not being hospitable for in it, many have entertained angels unaware. It was through hospitality Sarah trapped the angels and they gave a revelation about the inevitable doom of Sodom and Gomorrah. And it was on the strength of that hospitality that Abraham was given access to that mystery. And with it, he rescued Lot. Praise the Lord. The third platform upon which men receive from God and create lives of notable impact in the earth is covenant connection. Covenant connection. Covenant connection. May God make us believe what I'm sharing. May God make us believe it. May God make us believe it in the name of Jesus Christ. Covenant connection. The Bible speaking about men and describing the nature and the character of their success says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the, sin, the seat of the scornful. It says, but his delight... What is in the law of the Lord and on that law he meditates day and night. Then he says he shall be. This is how his success will be. In the similitude of that of a tree. If the Bible says you shall be like something, study that thing. It says the success of a believer 
will be like that of a tree. How does a tree rise? Number one, it is planted. From the stem that rises, branches begin to come. All branches do not move in the same direction. But regardless of their direction, the strength of the branches are determined by the strength of the vine that they are connected to. They may face different directions and the trees can grow so tall, taller than buildings. And the trees can stand for years and decades. Branches fall and rise. They are pruned and they come again. But the stem connected to the root remains intact. Any branch that cuts itself outside of the vine dies. You don't water the branches. You water the roots. And it has a system. Are we together? Trying to pour water on leaves is a waste of time. A system. So he said he shall be like a tree. Listen. Our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. Please you have to understand this. Our personal work with God is based on relationship. However kingdom advancement is based on covenant. Not the covenant of Moses. Not the covenant of the New Testament. I'm not talking old and new covenant. A covenant is a system through which God guarantees a continuity of his program. Now listen, listen, look up please. Let me teach you this. Get it, get it in the name of Jesus Christ. The way the kingdom works is through the principle of covenant and alignment. Please listen. So what happens is that every dispensation has a dimension of spiritual realities that they should experience which is part of the ongoing unfolding of the multifaceted dimension of god are we together so every dispensation has a dimension of god earmarked for them to experience but the nature and the character of that revelation is such that when god wants to come in in a dimension to a territory and a dispensation his first assignment is to find a man say a man when he finds a man he enters a personal covenant with that man that personal covenant becomes the platform upon which that dimension of god is revealed to the dispensation no other person will access that dimension in that dispensation out of alignment to the person in covenant with god are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. God will not reveal the same thing to everybody. He will reveal the same thing to one person and direct every other person who wants to experience that part of him to align with the covenant that he has had upon that man or upon that system. Are we together? The yardstick that he uses to bring men to that experience is called an election of grace it has nothing to do necessarily with their personal yieldedness it is part of his sovereignty and his predeterminate counsel so god calls men every time you are talking about redemption the journey of redemption and the doctrine of christ starts from abraham not noah not adam are we together whether it's Christianity, whatever kind of religion, the moment they are communicating the doctrine of Christ, the genesis of the blueprint of the doctrine of Christ starts from Abraham. God called one man to come out of a place called Or of the Chaldeans, Genesis chapter 12, right? He wanted to use his father, Terah, but something happened. And he, the, the, you know, the baton passed on to Abraham and he called Abraham an idol worshiper out of all of the chaldeans and he called him and he said look i am calling you out come out of your father's house your kindred and all of that and i will do certain things with you and abraham obeyed him there are so many people in the bible that represents god's covenant point there are portals that open their dispensation and their generations to certain dimensions of god that law 
did not die with the coming and the going of Jesus Christ there are still men today that represent new dimensions of God or continuity of his program hmm. are we together alongside your encounter alongside your comprehension of the laws of the spirit your covenant connection to men or systems that represent the continuity of God in that dimension but this is where Satan cheats a lot of people please listen to me carefully this is something else I'm talking about but we need to understand this God asked me to reiterate these things you know why we honor men we honor men for many reasons number one is the anointing they carry number two the sacrifice that they have with god that has brought certain levels of possibilities in their life number three is the spiritual system that they represent when david wanted permission to fight goliath do you know the question saul asked he said whose son is this in other words i want to know the tribe he came from so that i know whether this can be possible this boy is too young i'm a king but I need to know where he's coming from so we can trace the history of the spiritual deposits God left with that tribe. And when they found out that David was of the Benjamite, he said, go and fight. David came to him and he said, Goliath, I know you think I'm a small boy, but there is a tribe standing before you, not a person. Watch what happens to you now. Goliath said, am I a dog? David said, we will we'll see who, who is the dog. I have seen people in my life who never become billionaires but they never lack whether they pray or not even when they are not tithing it's a covenant there is something they are connected to whether they know it or not that affords them those spiritual possibilities <sighs> open our eyes oh god in the name of jesus christ i have seen pastors who when they stand to teach you will almost sleep but when they call upon the God of heaven he shows up it's not personal encounter in fact many of them may have a lot of character defaults and while you are talking about their character it's like God owes them his presence they call him and he must show up there is a covenant he respects he says my covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from my mouth are we together so some of our people although they were in the village with witchcraft they had 16 children one woman 16 children and yet after 16 children the woman is still standing her stomach is still as flat as an arrow you wonder whether the children grew in a basket it's a covenant brothers and sisters it's not about knowing what drug to take some things are spiritual when they are spiritual they show and you see it Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Hmm. Oh, you better believe it. So that when you look at a man, you know that not every result you see was initiated by his personal altar. When you know that, there will be no room for pride when God begins to give you results. Because you will know that certain dimensions of your result are purely an issue of alignment. Purely an issue of what? Alignment. Spiritual alignment. There was a time, for instance, in living faith, it still happens, where there were strange testimonies, 2005, 2006, creative, those ones were, it's what the Bible calls the walking of miracles, not testimonies, where a man would tell you, I was a cleaner, and by Sunday, the owner of the company said he's leaving Nigeria, and they made me a CEO. Strange testimonies. So you see somebody who drag himself and he's sleeping while they are preaching. Sleeping. They say in Jesus' name, he never says amen. He's even angry. But something still came on him. With the anger, he turns and he leaves and goes back and the landlord says, you are staying five years in this house. The rent is, is free. And the man says, I don't understand what is happening to me. Two weeks later, they call him and say, there is a job we want to give you. And he says, I don't understand. There is a covenant. When God looks at you, he sees the covenant. There is power in the name of Jesus. 
There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. If you know this thing I'm teaching you, you can, you can make, it's not a license to sin. You can make the worst blunder on earth. Quarter to shame. The covenant kicks in. And God says, I remember. <sighs> Jonah! Jonah was running as a rebel. But God used what happened to describe what will happen to Jesus. Jonah! He says the same way Jonah was in the belly of the fish. Was that a good testimony? Yet yeah, Jesus used it. God had Solomon for the sake of his father, David. When Solomon dedicated the temple, he lifted the temple and he said, Lord, I enter a covenant with you that whoever faces this temple and pray, whether their faith level is there or not, hearken to them. So in the days of Daniel, they signed a policy and they said nobody should pray. Daniel knew that if he will use his personal faith, he's a human being. The truth about it is that it was not just his personal spiritual life. So he opened the window to Jerusalem and he started praying. And listen, that was why he was sure when they were about to throw him in the lion's den. God did not show up because of Daniel. He showed up because of the covenant. What have you enjoyed in your life because of covenant connection? Some of us, every good thing that has happened to you has come because of your, your personal push, which is good. But brothers and sisters, the demand that life will place on you will be greater than your spiritual life. And if you have to wait till you become strong, you may not even live for that to happen. There are people in Koinonia here, they are not tightening, but they are having strange results. They, even them, they are doubting, they are saying, what's wrong? Something is covering you. It's a covenant. Break every chain. Break every chain. Those who know this do business with God upon the earth and open strange doors. Strange doors. Strange doors. Living faith, redeemed and MFM. There are three ministries that have seen them with such a strange covenant of, of ownership. They can enter any land regardless of the vow the government made not to give them land. They must give them land as much as they want. It's a revelation. Are we together? Brothers and sisters, some things are not just about fasting and prayer. There is an advantage God placed in the body. And if you are not aware of it, you may never step into certain dimensions. Never step into certain dimensions. I came to show you certain things. God said I should teach it again. If God says I should teach it, it means many of us did not get it. There are certain things in my life I will, I will never suffer and struggle over. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that foolish. I am not that foolish. You see, it's a painful thing when you are suffering certain things that is available by covenant to the tribe you belong to. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, yeah. break every chain. Elijah was a man who had a covenant with God that represented the system of the prophetic and the apostolic. He had other sons called the sons of the prophet. Is that true? But he had a strange man who was a farmer called Elisha. Elisha was not a prophet. Elisha was a farmer. He casted his mantle upon him and Elisha started following him. Join other prophets. Listen. And then the Bible says a time came when Elijah, Elijah was about to go to heaven. Is that a normal human being? Is that how you go to heaven? But that's how he went to heaven. That's how you know that it's not a normal human being. He knew where the gate of heaven was beyond the Jordan. He said, I'm about to leave. He knew where to wait for the chariots. Ah. A man was taking fresh air on a mountain 
and they came to harass him he used one of the elements of the supernatural called fire he said i will not just use my mouth if i be a man of god let fire come from heaven he prayed once and fire came is that how you pray when you stand look at what he, hi koinonia hear what i'm teaching you listen when they were about to judge the prophets of Baal, there are some dimensions of witchcraft that is your covenant of connection that dislodges them. Not just your personal prayer and fasting. When the prophets of Baal were there, they were prophets under the custody of Jezebel. And look at the mockery. Elijah said, laugh. He said, he said, cut yourself, shout. Maybe your God is sleeping. Look, if I am Elijah, I will be fasting. <laughs> Deliver me, O God. Wipe my tears. For the sake of your glory. I will be writing out the worship songs, looking for somebody to play a cymbal. But here was a man crossing his leg and mocking at them. From morning till evening, he laughed because he knew they were wasting their time. After everything, they caught themselves so that their God will see blood. And remember their covenant with him when they tried singing and praising and it did not work they danced around the prophets of Baal they started bringing blood what is blood the covenant Baal remember our covenant as prophets with you and Elijah shut the heavens and said keep calling on him then when it was time for Elijah I thought Elijah would have just said all right God fire come down he would have been surprised he said give me 12 stones 12 stones listen listen let me teach you something the bible says in the new jerusalem it said the gates of the city there were 12 gates and the gates had a name of the 12 tribes of israel every one of those tribes represented a dimension of god and 12 foundations having the name of the apostles he said give me 12 stones and the prophets of Baal were watching after it he put a sacrifice and then he said pour water the water was a mystery it was not just trying to say so that you don't think i hit fire because there are three forces that open the gates in this earth realm the spirit the water and the blood so he said poor water afterwards he lifted his eyes to the heaven the pattern was correct follow me and he said oh god and the fire the bible said the fire came licked the sacrifice and swept everything right and then hear what he said the moment that happened he said pursue all the prophets of Baal don't let one escape and kill them hear me people of God there are dimensions there are kinds of mountains that were never designed to be approached alone we fool ourselves thinking because we know God every mountain will just go like that he said, all things are possible but they are they are possible based on the knowledge available to you if you can see me as i'm going you will have something the moment he left and he held the mantle he would have gone to the well and say i am a man of god pat he would have been surprised he said where is the lord god as far as god was concerned he did not see elisha he saw the covenant did the water obey? Absolutely. Do you know why Joshua was successful? God transferred a mystery to him. As I was with Moses, as I was, the way I related with him, so I will relate with you. He said, and because of that, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. So when the angel appeared, Joshua removed his knife and he was going to kill the angel. The angel had to explain he would have died. The word of God would have killed the angel. Not the sword of Joshua. He said, are you for us or against us? And the angel said, hold on. Neither. He had to explain. Because a man was running with the word of God. The Bible says, for instance, it says where two or three are gathered, where? In my name. The meaning is as touching my authority. There is a dimension of God that only shows up 
under corporate fellowship you will never have that dimension alone in your room fast for 100 days you will not see those things that was why the psalmist was crying he said early will i seek you he said to see your power and your glory in my life as i have seen in the sanctuary there's something i've seen that only happens when believers gather i've not seen it can you make it happen in my life hallelujah he says if two of you shall agree hold my hands as me as touching anything there are certain levels of prayer that is not just about i am alone the veil has been torn I, I'm, I'm alone i can access christ it's a system there are certain levels of difficulty that when two or three agree you can just say one prayer that was why the apostles when they were threatening them did they pray individually Acts chapter 4. Remember they came together because they understood this. It took that kind of grace to bring the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. They could not pray alone and have the Holy Spirit come. So when the Bible says Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Now when the day of Pentecost was fully come. It said they were all gathered in one accord. That formation gave the Holy Spirit room to come. In Acts chapter 4 when they threatened them. They came together and said, Lord, behold their threatenings. He says, stretch forth your right hand now to heal. And that signs and wonders be wrought through your holy child. And the building shook. There is a difference between your personal prayer life and the body of Christ. The body of Christ is a mystery of possibilities. When you understand the mysteries that govern the body of Christ, you will do things that you will never imagine you would have done. Are we together? I remember when a few people wrote jam here. You were, you were testaments of the things. Marks being added. I'm not talking of those 40, 40 marks. You see people, someone will check his jam, 197. Go and check again, 231. How did that happen? Look, let me tell you something. When you see a man of God study the systems around his life, don't just say this person is anointed Kai, he has power what makes the heaven owe him it's like it's like god god owes certain men of god a debt he must pay even if they call his name joking he has to show up there is something that makes that happen my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god our covenant is calling you oh god take my praise oh god take my praise oh god sing it one more time my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you. It's calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Listen. Let me tell you something powerful. Numbers 24. Let me do my teaching now. Mike. Numbers 24. Let me share something with you that will break some gates open. I want your spirit to be sensitive. Something will happen in this place today. Numbers 24. Balaam was called by Balak to curse the nation of Israel. I've shared it here. The Lord asked me to repeat it, so I'm repeating it. Now listen. 
And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, it's actually 23, 24. I'm jumping for time's sake. Follow the story. He went not as in other times to seek for enchantment. Now, there's a lot to say about Balaam. The Bible talks about the doctrine of Balaam, the error of Balaam, the way of Balaam. There is a long story on that. I don't want to go into that. But he set his face towards the wilderness. Let's rush it. Go ahead. And Balaam lifted his eyes. Balaam wanted to find out where... Listen, listen. Let me explain the whole scene for you. A prophet is brought by Balak. And he said, cause koinonia. Make things to start going wrong for people. Are we together? Now, Balaam tells them, look, oh, I am a prophet. In other words, I don't speak the way I want. So as we stand here, whatever you hear me say is what God is saying. Agreed? They said agreed. So they brought gifts. Balaam would have sought God by lifting his face to the hills. That's the key. Sammy said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. They know where their help comes from. But now Balaam used enchantment so that God would not be able to prophesy through him. Are you getting the story? He used divination to invoke spirits so that they would prophesy. So Balaam stood and after he used those enchantments, he was about to curse and his mouth produced blessings. And he was surprised. He moved to another place again and used invocations about to speak and he blessed them. He went to another place about to speak and he blessed them and Balaam said, Balak was angry and he said, what is all this? I brought you to curse them. All that has been coming out of your mouth is blessings. Please watch this. And Balaam lifted his eyes to check. They were on a mountain. And he said, no, I'm a prophet. Let me look. What is the reason why no cause is working? And this is what he saw. Hallelujah. And he saw Israel abiding in what? His tents. There was a spiritual formation from the valley. Israel were wise people. They didn't just say, let's rest. They said, ah, it is possible that the kings will come and destroy us. So let us engage the formation. There is a pattern. Mm. They arrange themselves according to their tribes with the ark of God being at the center. And they said, let's see who will cause us. They kept the ark there. So when Balaam stood at the mountain to cause the ark fought him back. And he said, I don't know what is wrong. I can't cause them. I can't cause them. Then listen to what he said. According to their tribes, and finally the spirit of God came upon him. This is what he said. The secret. And he took a parable. That's how prophets, remember Hosea chapter 12, I have spoken in similitudes or parables, I have multiplied visions. He took a parable and he said, Balaam, the son of Beor, had said, speaking about himself, and the man whose eyes are open, talking about himself, had said, verse 4, and he had said, which heard the words of God, which saw the visions of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Verse 5, how goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. That's the secret. I look at your tent and your spiritual formation, and I see you arranged in a way that no cause, no enchantment. That's why he said no divination, no enchantment against Jacob. It's not just because they are Christians. Please listen to what I'm teaching you now. There was a spiritual pattern. And literally, Balaam, as a true prophet, could not curse them. They didn't fight. They just could not curse them. When it was 10, in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 20, or oh, well, we'll read from verse 15 downwards if there's time. They were about to fight. Three kings came together to fight them. And the Bible said, they had another formation. Kai. These guys used formations for victory, not stories. They inquired of the Lord, what pattern will produce the result? And they said, let the worshippers be in front. And when the worshippers were in front, together with the ark, the warriors were behind. He said, this is not an issue of sword. And they began to sing. Hearken, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, 
and thou king Jehoshaphat thus said the Lord be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but the Lord's let's read down quickly tomorrow go up against them and so on and so forth 17 listen he said ye shall not what set yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord O Judah and Jerusalem fear not or be dismayed tomorrow you go up against them verse and Joseph had bowed his head this and that and that verse 19 there's something I'm looking for now listen and the Levites and the children of the Kohathites and of the children of all of those people stood up to what praise the Lord of the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high right and then of course they rose early in the morning and then when they began to praise you know a prophecy came next verse he says and when he had consulted the people he appointed what look at the formation who did he appoint do you use musicians to fight war musicians to fight war three kings about to kill you i hope you know they were not acting it was real death but there was a pattern he says and they should praise the beauty of his holiness and as they went out before the army and to say praise the lord for his mercy endured forever what happened and when they began to sing and to praise the lord set ambushment against the children of ammon moab and mount Seir, which were come against judah and were smitten next verse for the children of this stood up to slay themselves read the last sentence if you're a christian want to read everyone helped to destroy military people killing themselves there were two left and he said who dies first say you without kill the other person and killed himself while they were doing that other people were there invoking a pattern listen there's something i teach the school of ministry students called the reflection principle listen i want to teach you something very powerful it's a principle that is used in occultism it's a principle that is used it was an an aberration of god's principle listen you only host a spirit and a dimension of the possibility of a spirit if you create the atmosphere for that spirit to feel at home as though it were in its primary place of habitation are you getting what i'm saying so if the ambassador of u.s comes to the u.s consulate office in abuja it was designed to accommodate him his appetites the colors the architecture are we together there is a pattern based on the ideology of the united states they built the embassy that way so whether he is in nigeria or he's in america it does not make any difference to him because the embassy in nigeria reflects the dexterity and the glory of america are we together now watch this if i want a spirit any spirit please give me this sir. sorry no if i want a spirit assuming i'm a herbalist i am not a herbalist assuming i'm a herbalist are we together and i want a spirit to come upon this i'm not just going to say spirit come spirit break out and then you think it will come no there is i must find out what that spirit is and the nature of its operation and the kind of atmosphere that makes it come and i will make this water become like the atmosphere the spirit must come atmospheres are magnets they draw spirits and they draw possibilities to the earth and to territories please listen to this this is very important so this is what the psalmist said the holy ghost wanting to come into the new creation he said a body has thou prepared you prepared it in such a way that when i come into that body it will be as though i am in heaven when the body was prepared the spirit could come and that body today is called the ecclesia the body of christ it was built in a particular way christ the foundation the apostolic and the prophetic 
and then the, it rises and he said that body you have prepared for me so god is able to function on earth because of the body that has been prepared for him are we together now when during our traditional festivals when they want to see certain spirits what do the masquerades do or the priest they wear a particular attire having a particular kind of animal skin alligator skin then some use snakes some use hyenas come on talk to me africa are we together so we have don't don't act as if you came from 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 the middle east we are here we are home amen they use fire they provoke these spirits they start chanting tongues and start moving in a particular direction they can move here small and come back again they can run and come back while they are doing that someone can be playing drums are we together and then at a particular point the snake will start coming out when the snake starts coming out they start dancing and putting fire because the snake is reflecting what is happening in the realm of the spirit so the gods are now coming the moment that happens what happens it's like people are under the anointing even the priests they are under their anointing they start doing crazy things they took fire in their mouth and nothing happens because a spirit landed let me tell you why it landed there was a pattern i counseled one man um on on tuesday on wednesday in abuja before i came He's one of the popular Nigerian directors, directors of Nigerian film, you know, and all of that. And he told me something. He said, man of God, most of the Nigerian films you see us acting, the snake we use, they are real snakes. But what they do is they go to charmers. You know, these guys are charm snakes. So they give them a particular ring so that they can pick the snake and nothing will happen. The ring has a pattern. It's a language the snake understands. That's why sometimes it backfires because those powers expire they must be renewed if at the point of expiration you are the one holding the snake the snake that you were you were in nice romance with would turn and enjoy you immediately are we together patterns so there are men whose lives are patterns you curse them it returns back to you and you are wondering see it is on this basis that you can say i am uncursable now the problem with the church is we say revelations without we we make statements without the spiritual revelation that activates those possibilities i am uncursable in the name of jesus and you find out there's a cause at work in your life clearly everybody knows you are cursed i am not cursed you are cursed we are seeing it it is on the strength of this there is a pattern don't laugh are we together so someone can vow like they vowed to paul and they said paul we will not eat nor drink until you are until you die and paul lived many years afterwards i'm teaching you something you can do on earth that is is like a spiritual formation that will make the holy spirit respond to you in a certain way and you will see doors open and you'll be wondering what happened is a pattern balaam stood on the mountain and he saw the pattern and he said i can't cause them i'm trying i'm making efforts listen i can't tell you how many times on my way to travel people will call me and say apostle i just had a dream are you about to travel i say yes they say please sir don't travel i love you so much koinonia loves you i just had a dream this morning and in that dream i saw a plot and i saw that you had a ghastly motor accident and you died and then i said okay i appreciate now they are not they are not lying they saw it and what they saw was correct but there is a pattern kabarato satayaba David, I'm come and sing a song there, my spirit. Your influence is all over me, right? I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. And your influence is all over me. Let's say
Listen now. Listen. Brothers and sisters, when it comes to kingdom advancement, don't just think of your personal spiritual life alone. There are limitations to your personal spiritual life as far as kingdom advance is concerned. There are certain strategies of witchcraft that it takes more than you as a person to conquer. It's not that Christ is not King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Please hear me is a law there are formations there are things that have been engaged that requires the strength of the body not your strength alone if you do not understand this you will have a lot of casualties and you will mock yourself spiritual patterns formations that make men forbidable on earth they wanted to curse you just like somebody from your village now wants to curse you and you have been saying in the name of Jesus I'm uncursable I agree with you potentially but you have to engage the mystery that makes your word valid otherwise you will be shouting I will not be cursed until they, they, they kill you like a chicken are we together please listen listen There are three of these spiritual patterns that I want you to learn tonight. I don't know if we can touch all three, but we'll stop somewhere and pray. The first of that pattern listen is the power of altars an altar is a pattern I'm not talking altar like coven no an altar is a token that represents a point where covenants are enacted every time a covenant is enacted an altar is raised on earth as a memorial you see that all through in scripture every time people had covenants with God or with themselves they raised what altars an altar is nothing diabolic at all an altar is just a token it's a representation it doesn't even have to be physical a representation please listen a representation a platform that affords covenant to not only be renewed not only be remembered but to be activated three things happen on altars renewal right continuity or servicing if you want to call it and then the third is activation spiritual realities are activated upon altars listen please listen every man of God every true ministry called of God has an altar they may not call it altar they may call it all kinds of things some call it covenant some call it altar I don't care what they call it but this is what it is it is a token that represents a covenant between God and that man and serves as a memorial the altar that was raised in the day of of um, Noah when he raised that altar there was a sign of a rainbow is that true and God gave this as a token when circumcision itself is a token I hope you know 
when you circumcise a child it's a revelation that was given to Abraham circumcise them Joshua circumcise them the power and the revelation of the patterns that altars create are things we should never take for granted especially in such a wicked world koinonia has an altar you hear us sing that song my it's nothing diabolic i don't mean babala or something no, that's not what i'm talking about as a person there are covenants that i've had through my encounters with god that have become the platforms upon which certain possibilities ride the same way I have gleaned upon the covenant of others with God and it has become an advantage it has boosted my personal spiritual life it has boosted the possibilities that I can see in my own life please hear me and I want you to be sensitive we're about to pray be very sensitive right now when Abel died when Cain killed Abel, what cried? Please answer me, what cried? And he said, the blood of Abel cries and the blood is speaking. Abel is dead. The blood is saying revenge. You have to bring vengeance upon Cain. And Jesus now says that even his blood too speaks. The only difference is that his blood speaks better things which were predicated on a better covenant. Are we together? There are altars that speak over the lives and the destinies of men. Please listen, listen, listen. I want to give you spiritual intelligence. You don't bind an altar. It was enacted by covenant. It's called the law of displacement. There are two lights. They keep shining until a greater light comes. Then it overshadows them. Are we together? These are spiritual laws. So many people do not know the foundation upon which their predicaments are coming. They think it's just an issue of personal retreat for three days. Have you seen people who are praying and fasting on the last day of the fast? What they were praying against is what happens. Maybe somebody sleeps with you in a dream and you charge and get angry and you go and say, look, three days, I'm praying. On the third day, drive fast. You are looking like a skeleton. You are about to break. You just decided to take a nap for the last 30 minutes and here the person comes as if your prayer made nonsense. In the prayer, you are shouting, Jesus, Jesus. And the person is just looking at you and say, keep shouting your Jesus there and comes to do exactly what he said to do. You know why I know this thing so well? Because it happened in my life. I've, you've heard my story. Wicked spirits will come and oppress me and come into my room. My own was not even an experience. I see them. They see me. But I couldn't do anything about it. Some of you say, I shouted Jesus. The pastor said, shout it well. You shouted it well. Nothing happened. Please, don't laugh. I'm giving you a mystery because we're about to pray. Are we together? We have lost the advantage of the patterns that God gave the body. It's not about an individual's personal success. There are times when the secret to your breakthrough is based on alignment to covenants that God has had. And he will respond to you and have respect for the covenant. Are we together? There are people who have a covenant with God that every time they show up in a city, there must be breakthroughs. So they show up in a city to have a crusade. And when they show up to have a crusade, people who have no business with that crusade receive breakthroughs that have nothing to do with that ministry. Because for as long as that individual is there, that territory has an advantage of tapping into the covenant that he has. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are people who personally their prayer life is dead. But when they get to the prayer department on Tuesday to pray, you find out that you who was struggling to pray for five minutes, you now stretch for two hours. It's because something picked you. That's why you can go back home and say, ah, ah. 
so it is God's system to help you so that even when your spiritual life is down Satan will still not be able to reach you before you come back to life there is a system that covers you altars that we can take advantage of there are men who when they come into a city you know everything shakes it's not by the loudness of the publicity but they come in with the presence they carry they come in with the covenants that they carry and you find out that there are strange results strange testimonies that happen to people and then they leave we'll find somewhere and stop i want to pray my life has changed like day and night because of this truth that i have discovered i found it as a key because there were certain limitations in my life though anointed though a great man of god though having encounters with jesus at a point in my life there were certain mountains that would not move there were certain doors that would not open regardless of what i did and i said lord but your word says if i have faith like a monster seed i know that i have faith and then god began to teach me for this cause many are weak for this cause many are sick for this cause many do sleep because they cannot discern the body their inability to discern the body that has been prepared to host the spirit everything is possible but you need to know how to make it possible you need to know how to make it possible this night looking at me and hearing me by the thousands are men and women who have done certain things alone you have struggled spiritually you love God you have held on to some of these principles but the truth is that door has refused to open you have done what you know to do I show you the third key you must engage it's called the power of alignment to covenants the power of alignment to covenants the power of alignment to covenants God has entered covenants with individuals he has entered covenants with systems please I can beg you some of you are looking for admission listen to what I'm telling you and get into school otherwise sit down there roaming around that you have 230 and repeat the same nonsense that has been going on some things in life will not move just by your personal faith do you know that when Jesus was on earth he was not the only miracle worker please answer me is that true there was a time his disciples saw other people who were not in Jesus' camp, but they were still performing miracles. Not by Baal, not Beelzebub. And they said, ah, Jesus, this is, this is strange. Ah, I thought you were the Savior. And he said, I, paraphrasing, I came to introduce something new, but until the new comes, the old is still valid. There was a way miracles were done in the old covenant there were people who believed it there was a priesthood that made it possible for instance an angel would come and steer the water was Jesus around when it happened no but it happened a particular prophet in the Bible when a woman was sick or someone was sick he made herbs leaves and put it on the legs of the person are we together If you understand what I'm teaching you, then you will know that when you stand and the mountains look like they are not, you have done all you know to do. Listen, stop trying harder. The key is not harder. The key is step back and look at the body of Christ. Don't look at yourself again. Look at the body of Christ. What spiritual tribe is connected to the possibility that will open the door I'm looking for? You can be a man of God full of grace and prayer, but you know that there is no prosperity in your ministry.
and you are saying lord we have prayed we have fasted this prosperity thing is not working step back and look at the body of christ a body has thou prepared for me sometimes god can give you just one instruction go to any living faith branch hold what you have as a seed and go and sow it in that you don't even have to be prayed for the moment you pray for it you go back and god says fine what you have done is called alignment to a covenant and God begins to relate with you the same way he relates with God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo. And you will find out mysteriously, mysteriously. Something happened recently. Somebody called me and they had a court case recently. And Ejimi, this court case, humanly speaking, was already against the person. There is no human way on earth he would have won that case. And when he called me, I said, tell me the truth. When he told me everything, ah, I said, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Because I, I, I know a bit about legalities. And I know that based on that thing, if he's to spend time in the prison, it will be nothing less than 10 years away from his wife and his children. But I told him, I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. But if you can believe what I want to tell you, there can be a way out. I told him, I said, I can pray for you. God has given me grace for territories and I want to pray for you. I prayed for that guy. Do you know I got to find out he didn't even show up on the day of, because of fear, he didn't show up in the court. He refused to show up. And later he would tell me that the judge looked and looked at everything and threw away the case from the court now please brothers and sisters please you went to school you are intelligent in nigeria who does that <sighs> you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your you reign you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty. The Bible says Christ is the head of all principalities. He recognizes their existence. So he says your only advantage is that I am the head. Not that you say they are not there. No. It's your Bible. I'm teaching you spiritual intelligence. But many people say, assume they are not there are you kidding when they refuse jesus from entering back they say who is this king of glory he had to explain himself christ is the head of principalities he said he has been made above thrones so he recognizes them above dominions and every name that is named not only in this earth but in the world to come what do you not know that is responsible for the devil sinking through your life and making it look like God is not alive please hear what I'm saying a job will not just come because you think you're a Nigerian there are mysteries you have done there are many arrogant pastors in ministry who are suffering this they've done everything to do but the key is an alignment an alignment that opens up spiritual possibilities an alignment those who were in Mina, I'm sure maybe my friend Pastor Pete Rock is listening. Pete Rock, you know, I love House on the Rock and all of that. When we went to Mina, Aaron, you were there. The same thing you see in Koinonia. Crowds here, overflow on top and then outside. is alignment. Brothers and sisters, you may be a musician, but you can align to a system that will give you more than songs. You will find out that things are opening. You are a student, but you align to somebody who is paying you salary. And they say, no, you must be sleeping with the man. You say, no, I, I, I just belong to a tribe that has a covenant with God that is respected even by hell. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, what is not at work in your life is still available. It takes humility and alignment. Many people will insult me for what I'm teaching you now because they will think I'm teaching you human worship. God is my witness.
I, I, I don't have time for all of those things but you have to be careful who you listen to don't let men do well meaning to deceive you there are systems on earth that represent spiritual possibilities you may argue it and never see certain things happen in your life please hear me look beyond your personal strength and look at the privileges that God has put in the body a body has thou prepared for me a body has thou prepared this koinonia that you look at every time maybe one day I will take out time and share the whole journey so that you will know that this is not just an ambition of a man to have a ministry if I want fame there are easier ways I'm not dull I can write books are we together access to the riches and the blessings of heaven there are covenants you align with that will open you up to possibilities. I don't want to begin to give you testimonies upon testimonies. Hallelujah. We're already preparing to buy our land. I will not tell you where it is until we buy it. Some of you will be surprised. You will open your mouth and say it's a lie. You can't get land like that. A property that will swallow CGC how many times in this area? Because when you catch the keys, listen, listen. Listen, I don't say this to brag. I'm challenging you. It's, it's not by trying. No door opens to shouting. It opens to keys. God is giving you something now. You have been writing jam. You are brilliant, but it's not working. Don't stay foolish and say, I, I, I know this time around, I, I got 250. No. Are we together? Possibilities. There are men and women who God has put in the body of Christ in territories that's why Satan creates a lot of controversy around their life to fight them so that what you are supposed to receive will not be given to you but as we pray the devil is a liar somebody's door is about to be opened rise up on your feet everybody and let's pray we are going to pray three prayer points and I want you to pray it with every, every ounce of strength. No carelessness, no looking around. You're going to cry to God. Prayer point number one. Lord, I acknowledge that I am limited as a person. No matter how spiritual I am. As a pastor, as an apostle, as a prophet, as a teacher, as an individual. I am limited. And I come before you with every sense of humility, acknowledging my limitation. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I acknowledge. Lord, I acknowledge. I acknowledge that you have built a system. You have built a system beyond the personal spiritual progress of a man. You have designed this mystery called the body of Christ. This strategy called the body of Christ to lift men, to bail them out of captivity. You have designed this mystery called the body of Christ. Shabada <laughs> Hallelujah. Look up, please. Prayer point number two. I want you to be sincere before God. Mention all the things you know you have tried and done all you know to do but has not changed. Mention it before God because we're about to engage a mystery. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I've prayed over this failure in my family. Nothing has seemed to change.
Make sure you're praying. Those online, make sure you're praying. So Jesus had to come. And man's salvation now is tied to his alignment to the finished work of Christ. It's a pattern. There are times your victory will be based on the finished work of others. Not just of Christ, but they have cried the cry for you so you don't cry again. They have taken the scars for you so you don't take it again. But if you do not know, Satan will cheat you. There are times you will stand before that Red Sea. Please hear me. Just the same please. You stand before the Red Sea. And the Red Sea will refuse to part. You will, you will invoke your personal altar. It will not open. Let me tell you. There are stubborn challenges like that in the life of a man. You will agree with your wife, your husband. It will not move. When all else fail, switch. Switch. Remember what tribe you belong to. Remember the spiritual possibilities that come. And say, oh God of salvation. Remember, 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 remember. 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 And all of a sudden, your God will arise not for your sake. Listen, hear me. I don't know if it's a tight booklet of redeemed or living faith. I can't remember which of them. But there was a woman who had been a faithful titan. I don't know if it's redeemed or living faith. One of the ministries she testified. And robbers came to her house and assassins to kill her and kill her husband. They stepped into the house. They were with guns. 
the man was there his wife was there all that there was was to shoot and there was nothing to do the man just, he knew he was gone all else failed and all the woman did was to bring out her tight booklet and dropped it on the ground remember the covenant is it not your house that was built with my money is it not souls that are saved with my money don't waste your time trying to say one day God will come no that one day you can create it the day the pattern is there as powerful as Jesus was his heavens were closed until he had to encounter a man the heavens of Jesus did not open because he was called Jesus it was open based on the covenant that came down to John the Baptist and so when John the Baptist saw Jesus he said behold the lamb and he said that's not the issue my heavens are closed and he says suffer it to be so I can't neglect the pattern and when John dipped Jesus and brought him out there was a transference and God responded the heavens opened and he said this is my beloved son please hear me it's not as hard as your life makes it look you just don't know what to do we are going to cry and say Lord show me what I must do to come out of this challenge in my presence lift your voice and pray there is always something to do. Koinonia cry. Show me, oh God, what is the secret, the missing link to my healing ministry, the missing link to bring prosperity to my life. Hey. Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? There is a mystery, there is a pattern, there is a mystery, there is a pattern. Let hope rise. Darkness when losing your own be light. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness when losing your own be light. Let it rise, let it rise, let it rise. Darkness when losing your own be light. Hallelujah. Listen, we are going to pray. Please look up, everybody. We are going to pray. Just one more prayer and I will pray for us. I'd like you to pray. This ground, not, I don't mean physical ground, but this mystery called koinonia is, is enshrined in strange covenants that are responsible for possibilities. Now please pay attention. We're about to pray strategic prayer. Are we together? I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I invoke the covenant that is upon this ministry the possibilities that your appearance the sacrifices are brought I invoke it upon my life pray the covenant of open doors the covenant of his Shekinah glory Access to kings, access to strange favor. Pastors, pray. Let it come upon my ministry, oh God. Pray. Let it come upon my life.
Lord, I've eaten this jam by my strength. I've tried and tried, but I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to make money by my strength. I've fasted. I've sown seed. I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to get a job. I've tried to get a job. It's not working. I cry to the God of heaven. Let hope, let hope, let it rise tonight. Let it rise tonight. The covenant of long life. The covenant of honor, strange honor, access to kings, access to nobles, access to royalties, access to power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you pray this next prayer, listen, there will be strange impartations and strange testimonies on people. This, these are testimonies coming from heaven. Are we together? I want you to pray it with all your heart. All your heart, all your heart. Listen, listen. See, that you are part of this great house is no guarantee that you will enjoy the blessings that come. It must be intentional. Proximity is not connection. Are we together? Proximity is not connection. I have tapped into the covenant that God has had with people who have gone higher than me and they have opened me to strange doors. Realms that I know are not realms that are as a result of my personal prayer life. I'm a product of many anointings, many graces, many spiritual possibilities. Please hear what I'm telling you and step into a strange, I show you a deep mystery. Many of you will not appreciate it until you struggle and life whips nonsense out of you, you will come back to this message and it will make sense to you. There are many ministries that are anointed but they may never grow. They have done all they need to do. They have prayed. There are groups. There are all kinds of sincere people around. You've done all you know to do. Listen, you were not designed to do everything as regards your growth by yourself. That's why God put the body. A body has thou prepared. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There was a season in my family people were dying like chickens look let me tell you something my grandfather for some of you who are around the north my grandfather they were the trustees and the founders of church of christ in nigeria i come from a, a lineage of missionaries but it did not solve the problem in my family are you getting my point all the first bonds i saw the i saw the pattern they became useless people. Either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it. I, my father's elder brother died at a particular age range. My father's younger brother died at that same time. Just thank God that by the time my father was getting around that range, we had gotten the revelation. Look, let me tell you.
Doctor, Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother. And we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we we'll open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket. They just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God, and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. Hallelujah. Mm. Many families, let me tell you, are suffering this. Mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain. Just comes upon a man and a family. There are some of us here. You just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have HIV. You have left, you, you lived a pure life. Hallelujah. Something has happened in the realm of the spirit. I remember somebody, I think it was here. He's on video. That he slept quietly. And in the night somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said this is HIV virus. Injected it into him and he woke up physically with HIV. I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school. You go and serve. You graduated with first class or two and five years down the line. There's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job. The manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity. But you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day, your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters, I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. It's in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. It's to break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. I shared with us the testimony. Brothers and sisters, if not that I saw this woman, I would think it's a lie. I've heard about it, but I, I, was to, I was to experience it for myself. A woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man, half monkey. Half man, half monkey with hair. If not that I was sitting face to face with this woman, if I had another man of God say it, I may join those saying this is a lie, some exaggeration, just to make the message look powerful. I've seen all kinds of evil. But in the name that is above all names, there is an authority that must command the forces to bow. See, this is what happens to people. And you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life. Are you seeing? Many of us are struggling. You are trying to fight your health. You are trying to fight this, whereas there is a root problem. If that problem is not dealt with, you may be healed, but it will appear as something else. I hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree. How do you make a tree healthy? 
do you clean the leaves you add fertilizer at the root how do you destroy a tree you deal with the root the bible says the righteous is like a palm tree is that true this is the mystery of total breakthrough you must see every man like a tree you waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once when you address the problem it's like somebody who is complaining of headache but the real issue is typhoid fever you can take panadol again and again you will receive temporary relief but tonight some things will be totally settled in the name of jesus christ you will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up then job opens up then your academic opens up and that's when you say goodness so this is it a dear lady of ours even while i was in abuja last week I, I met with her this lady had worked for four years very hard working lady she was here i remember that time is on video also one fair lady that came from abuja and i prayed for her this lady for four years she had been working no promotion no benefits no nothing every area of her life was grounded i prayed for this lady and she went back to abuja and her boss looked at her he said come you've been working in this place what has been done for you right now this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere when her friends heard about it they say it's because you are fine she says have i not been here four years with the same pretty face nothing changes by itself till you force it to change it will change one day is a dream if you force it it will change are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us you are standing outside students you are you are suffering things are not working people think you are dull but you are not dull you enter the exam hall you blank out and then you will do tutorials and be helping others when they are marking scripts your script gets missing The wickedness the bible says while men slept an enemy came and planted tears in the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people lumps fibroids barrenness cysts all kinds of nonsense all around until you know the might of god you will keep getting afraid of satan but when you know who god is you will know once and for all that this devil he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator who am i speaking to tonight is your season for real change you can see you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous you have done everything you have read every book you've knelt down for every man to greet them but no marriage something is wrong it even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry and this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found what of the man hallelujah but the lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives listen many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families you know we believe in family in this place right your salvation is not complete until the members he said as for me and my house hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his juniors were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day i got angry and we had to settle the issue tonight god will settle some family so please take what i'm saying seriously i'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray hallelujah there are some of you anytime somebody wants to bless you something will happen to that person and just cut eye. somebody says i want to bless your family everything becomes grounded there are some of us who are in ministry you have done everything you know groundbreaking prophetic match round everything nothing is growing but jesus christ brought us here tonight 
so that we can experience his victory hallelujah and in a few minutes we have to pray before i begin to minister brothers and sisters i want you to pray and say father visit me i didn't just come to watch others and clap hallelujah the power of god is present to heal no matter what the sickness is no matter what the sickness is believe is it cancer is it hiv is it fibroid is it genotype issue no matter what it is you are stranded in whatever area of your life please position yourself because god is about to do mighty things right now no matter how far you are inside or outside talk to the lord don't be joking this is about your destiny this is your chance for a change of story say lord i'm tired i'm tired of clapping for others lord visit me i want to make progress in my life but there are forces that tie me down lord is the season where you will increase my greatness i'm tired of this terminal disease tired of this cancer they've told me i have days to live i'm tired of walking on a wheelchair i'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness tired of this sickle cell anemia jesus you died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that hiv to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful he paid the price He paid the price go ahead and pray and say jesus you have paid the price jesus you have paid the price for the deliverance of my family we are tired of this hardship it's not your will for us to continue in this hardship and lord like jacob we hold on to you tonight we will not let you go till you change our story Come on, pray, Koinonia. We will not let you go. Those outside, are you praying? Lord, change my story. Academically, I'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again. Change my story. Change my story. You already paid the price. You already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah he paid it with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished hiv is finished The devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and say my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah
Hallelujah. I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of God is in this place. I believe. Lord, I believe. Listen. 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 Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. The man who laid down at Bethesda, he'd been like that for 38 years. There is a way a situation has been so long in your life. Even when they are telling you God would change it, you say, Lord, change the rest. Tonight, do not leave any stone unturned. Are you getting my point? Whatever it is you're trusting God for, many of us left different states. Many of us left different local governments. I like you to pray and say, Lord, for this and that she and that area of my life, it he must give way to now. Yes, Lord, it must give way tonight. It must be way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Hold on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Yeah. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere right now, right now. Miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles. Right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God, my God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, the power of God. Right now, I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. Hope, take it, take it, take it. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside. 
must let you go tonight. Oh, Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside and I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name, it's already happening to people right now as I speak. As I shout that name, Jesus, when you shout it, many of you will hear sounds of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, Three, Jesus! I hear the chains. Those outside, lift your head. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your head. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. Come, go, 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 Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 I can't delay. 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 I can't Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel. 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 
Please, let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside. That guy is outside. You are wearing something like green. Greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, 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 time, your time has come. Please stand up. Stand up. Let's save time. I give the chains, the chains falling. She take a papa tapa tapa. Then grab a papa tapa tapa tapa. Go pata lava. Let her go now. You are a devil of darkness. Release her family now. Release her family now. Release her family now. I give the chains. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial, nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried, you have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! To break every chain. Break every chain. My brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you, look at me. Things will so change and turn around in your life. You will be surprised. You believe this? Father, let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing military uniform. Who is a soldier? Who is a soldier around you? I'm seeing his. I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah, well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone? I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. 
please because this thing has tied your life down Lord let her be free in the name of Jesus let her be free in the name of Jesus please if I pray for you just go back change their story so God in the name of Jesus Christ whatever reason you brought them out change their stories as I lay my hands on you I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah a drama will be acted in this place shortly now look up hallelujah the Lord is asking me to release marriages this is it it will start answering from this lady it will start moving across right now the power of God will start touching people I'm about to pray I've not prayed yet it will start touching it. ladies especially ladies in a strange way God is releasing marriages supernaturally supernaturally this way just like this just like this down that's how I see the power of God moving Lift your hand. Oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come to every cause of marital delay. Lift up people now. 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 Every cause. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. Go protect them. Outside, Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every act of witchcraft that has tied families we release you right now hallelujah goodness God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. 
release her right now. Oh, te pray the kitama balada baya. Pray to see her bakata dagata. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Kibala kuzata la barita bala da basika. Zike le barada basuto bala da basika. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? One, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains, the chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus, that demonic thing over your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, we break that demonic thing over your life, in the name of Jesus, look at me, your family, it's not even you now, you are a worker in this house, and as a worker you are entitled to certain blessings, huh? your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family, your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me the vision of a tree and I'm seeing it tied with ropes tied with ropes this is what I'm seeing in the spirit is tied and this is like the destiny of this family and they've done everything to tie it but I release it right now I release it by the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now be released now be released now be released now, be released now. every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft go protect be released now Hallelujah. 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening. Many of you will leave this place. You will be surprised. Just believe me. There is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of god will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens let me have those people if two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wildfire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wildfire it will turn you you will be running it will happen
happen to you, you will be running around. You will be running around. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. There is power in the the name of Jesus. Jesus. There is power in the the name name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? Like treasure, or don't tell lies here, or please. You are the one. What is what's your name? No, no, Salome, just wait here. You are the one, Salome. The, the meaning of your name, I'm going to pray for you, Salome. Where's your mother? She's at home. Where? We need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barrette prega de boxa. Ni passo paria cavaria doste che paracata. I pratos palia na bacosse che de pregadia. Preteste parata bacosse che de leva. Si panda baco. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. we plead the blood of God. Oh, we plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah.
We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request. Hallelujah. Please. If it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way, protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ those of you standing lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people please pray please pray his presence is here to him oh hallelujah we give you praise those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer cases, whatever it is, genotype. Don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. His presence please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, Start writing it. He, his presence is here. His presence is here to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has heal. come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection. No matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Oh, I am Lord. The healing team. His presence is here to heal. To heal. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jakes is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate and let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. you go back and begin to check yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having deep. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, is yourself, is it myself? The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Exactly. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, Imela, Jehovah, Jehovah, you done, done for me. me. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. Look at this! 
30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to him 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at look at look at this, 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 this, man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows celebrate. that I'm a winner. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I'm a winner. Dance to the shame of the, the devil. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. All right. Sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, you couldn't stand up. Help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. When God. Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When she don't say yes, nobody can say no. When she don't say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. You can no longer conceive. Why? 
first one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed, the other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can these bones be big? Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. Sadia's sister. She's not here. That one. Is she around? Come. Come. Come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. Please, kind God, oh. I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh. Blessed be your Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a day, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you. When they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you'll be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is saying amen. Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant. Give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. You will return with your miracle children. I will attend to everybody now. We'll be very, very fast so that we can save time. Worship team, please. My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro nane aje Israel. Aje Israel zin. She she and I aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission. Abuja. So say so take a few ya leading yan in South South. Say Yan a dog without who do see just do Keshi. So could chill she the go fourth floor. So yet the shakasa. So could cut about put ya or jenshi. Tun deserve about fourteen. Yen a palma are Israel. She ne asa na che. Am I naiki and zoo? Hari and zoo? Am I in zoom? Look at the ya fadi. I'm che but that you bung up. But that you rubu tuba, but that you take fear back. Oh, God, you are to achieve about the truth in this. Yeah, I do. Allah, I get a much. That you take fear. That you magana. That you rubu tu. So now, yes, so you don't get na rubu tu. You na magana. I'm a kafadi le be far at the fear back. Father, in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost. Kabala toza tabaranda galibata. 
In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write. Your eyes will see. Your feet will walk. Every broken bone. We mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying can make his office sometimes go. Your back. Come and get the kafa. Harian as well. Add the kafa. They call it sending kashabi. In Aosa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Aosa, Baju, anyone. Everyone. What's that your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's what? That's Baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? You don't know what they are saying, just be just with them. Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing some things, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I My God, heal now. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 out,
right now release her every part of her body start collecting the prayer requests very quickly start collecting the prayer requests very quickly
as I pray for you, go back and check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
protecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ, be made whole. In Jesus' name. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Look at this. Come on now. Koinonia celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
chain is breaking, breaking. breaking. whatever it is, wherever it is, it's breaking, yeah. breaking, it's breaking, yeah. breaking, and it's falling, it's falling, it's bowing, bowing. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet they can just connect by faith hallelujah pastor jakes will lead us to this session praise the lord if you can rise please rise this is a very prophetic moment look at me hold on we're not just doing this foolishly this is an instruction god gave us hallelujah we've had unspeakable testimonies i believe almost everybody this is summary of your prayer request we may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray as Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Shele braka to na man mang dosi prega la 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 boko so para bala braka la 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 ba dosi mbara la 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 boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so baka da baka ya rata bala 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 Rata tapa ya rabala bala 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 in no se i kapari onde in do o pari ala kabau se i la baha re i kapa on se i kapa na kada li i no se i ma kong se i ne panda ma pre kong se prenda kong de i ri i pari on se i la ha ri no se i para i o se i la kanela ha mi a dash ka i na tanda kong de mi e kong ka i na kanda ba ha ra kan se o i la ha na kong de with his eyes of mercy he answers our prayer speedily lord your grace 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light real fast bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like Hezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord and right before the prophet left the temple answers came the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the Lord brings healing aha thank you blessed Lord there's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father, God you are greater than our challenges, you are bigger than every problem we have, we ask you blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus, let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood speak in the name of Jesus, we cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus, we command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you are saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as i pray i want you to march forward you'll be the first i'm going to pray for there are people here right now others you've given your life to christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left i'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them god bless you as you come people are coming God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah
People are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call. But please, we mean business. This is very, very serious. God bless you, our sister. Just join us very quickly. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. Tonight, I make you my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I declare that I begin to make progress in my life. I submit to the authority of Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, I move forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus. Keep the hands lifted up. Father, thank you. These hands are lifted unto you. They will never be put down in the name of Jesus. Let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last. Thank you for this decision they are making today. The powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death. We command that they are set free from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Do wonders in their lives. Make mighty men and women out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We celebrate you. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for making this great decision. Now, I'd like you to follow the ushers, the people with blue and black. Hallelujah. Follow the gentleman. This side, just follow them. They will have your details and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's, she's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Right now in the name that is above all names, I pray. Every door that has been closed over anyone's life. Kapoto paretata. Meke la bondele karatabaya. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now Every terminal disease in your body, I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, What shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names. May an anointing for favor, a real anointing with proofs, may it come upon your life now. Receive favor now. Favor with God. Favor with man. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. And the king whoever needs to send for you who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life i call them into your life now i call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living god destiny help us share the word of the lord i command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, And thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. 
let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south god can take a man from a dunghill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones man de i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now I command your exodus right now for those trusting God for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the Lord told Elijah go to the brook Cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water I command supply right now by the favor of the Lord God of Israel let there be supplies hallelujah I pray for you the Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country he said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed lift up those hands in the name of Jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results 
Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower, a strong tower. I declare anyone marked for death here or any family marked for death either by witchcraft bomb blast assassins or any kind of political wickedness the blood of jesus separates you from the spirit of death you shall not die you shall not die not by accident not by bomb blast not by terrorism in the name of jesus the Bible says, as for me and my house, I prayed for you, now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house, we change that report right now. Whatever has mocked the God of Israel, Sarah said, those who laugh at me have now laughed with me. I declare, we change the story of your family. And his mother named him Jabez because she said I bore him in sorrow and Jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you Jesus I pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the holy ghost please lift your hands just i just have one minute there will be impartations right now the anointing of the spirit all kinds of gifts of the spirit take it now take it now take it now take it now take it receive it prophetic anointings apostolic anointings Healing anointing. Take it, take it, take it. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain